Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This video has been in the works for a while. I've been compiling some footage over a number of months and it's finally come together now. And I'm excited to show you a spider that I really like. Uh, it's called Tritomy xerophylla. It's a member of the Barrichellidae family, also known as brush-footed trapdoors. They also share a few common traits with tarantulas being claw tufts and scopula pads and this means like tarantulas that they can climb virtually any surface even smooth glass uh, and smooth plastic however the diversity within barricellidae is much greater they don't go to the big sizes that tarantulas do but the variation in morphology and coloration is so much greater. That being said, some of the Idiomata species grow to the size of some of our smaller tarantulas. In fact, these two families are so similar that on occasion, genera will be transferred from Balakelidae to Therophosidae or vice versa. Uh, more recently, um, Trichopelma, Euphrictus, uh, and Silastox um, were transferred from Barrichellidae to Therophosidae. It gets a little bit trickier with overseas tarantulas because the diversity, coloration, morphology is much greater. But when it comes to Australian species, uh, most of our Australian tarantulas are brown and you can pretty easily tell them apart from any of the Barrichellids that we have here. A couple of the ways that you can tell the families apart within Australia is Barrichellidae will have a tighter square or trapezoidal eye grouping, whereas uh, tarantulas are a bit wider. Uh, there is one exception to the rule uh, Sasson, Colm and I actually have a wider eye grouping that looks more similar to Therophosidae, uh, although there are a lot of other differences too with this particular species. It's very, very small and has a different kind of build and different coloration and patterning than any of the other Barrichellids or any other tarantulas. The posterior lateral spinnerets are also much shorter in Barrichellidae and often you can't see them from above. Here are some examples of the differences between the two families. You can see striking differences in coloration and pattern and morphology. There are a few people working on bringing in more barricades into the hobby. Uh, tarantulas have always been very popular, but a lot of people are kind of seeing how fascinating the barricades are and how diverse they are and are showing more of an interest. Uh, Secocrypta jacara has been common in the hobby for a few years now, as has Mangelia commoni and a few others are starting to pop up now and becoming more available. Hopefully videos like this will get people more interested in keeping these cool spiders. That was a brief overview of the family Barrichellidae. I uh, just wanted to give a little bit of background and explain a couple of things. So getting back to Tritomy xerophylla, this species is found in more dry habitat in central Queensland around Rockhampton and further inland from there. It's known from Blackdown Tableland, Homevale, the Rundle Ranges, uh, Roma and Sapphire as well. 
So they're found in drier habitat than a lot of the other barrichellids, apart from, say, Idiomata and uh, Sinopheli. The appearance of this species is very interesting. Most notably, you can see the elongated chalicerae, and it also has a modeled abdominal patterning as well. There is a little bit of variation between the localities of Tritomyzerophila. The, the holotype is described as not having much patterning at all, and that's from the Rundle Ranges. Whereas you can see here, the, the one from Blackdown Tablelands has more of a glabrous carapace, has modelled patterning, and is a little bit darker in coloration. The Carnarvon locality seems to be a little bit more brown, but still has that abdominal patterning as well. So it'd be interesting to collect maybe a couple from the, the Rundle Ranges and see how the... Uh, the patterning changes depending on the locality. So looking a little bit more at the morphology of Tritomy, the main difference between Tritomy and the other genera in the family in Australia uh, is Tritomy have um, over a hundred uh, maxillary cuspules uh, and they don't have any labial cuspules and their little thorn-like bumps on the maxillae and I believe they're for helping to assist in grinding up food. Uh, a lot of the different families have these, but uh, this specific number and where they're positioned on the maxillae separate them from the other genera in Barrichellidae. I just wanted to touch on the differences between the localities again, and specifically mentioning the variation of burrowing behavior between the two localities, Carnarvon and um, Blackdown Tableland. So the ones I collected from Carnarvon have a drawbridge type lid uh, at the entrance to their burrow, whereas the ones that I've collected from Blackdown Tableland have more of a leaf line collar and a, and a little bit of a lip too, but it's not as distinct as the Carnarvon Gorge. And this could be just, um, you know, branching, branching uh, behaviors, branching evolution even, or it can just be a, a small adaptation to the differences in temperature and climate there. Although I will mention that underground, their chambers are pretty much identical. Uh, after about five to ten centimeters there will be another flap like lid in the main chamber and that will go down to seal the entrance to the secondary chamber uh, and that's consistent between the two localities so the specimens that i collected from blackdown tableland are particularly defensive any minor vibration or light will cause them to threat pose as you can see here in these clips uh, without the security of their burrows, they're, they're very temperamental, uh, which is quite interesting too, because the, the number that I interacted with from Carnarvon Gorge were very, very calm and didn't show any form of defensive behavior. So it's, it's an interesting uh, observation. An interesting behavior I noticed uh, specifically with the Blackdowns table and locality is that each burrow I found had multiple occupants of Tritomy Xerophila. Uh, one had um, roughly 20 to 25 young slings, um, probably third or more in star, uh, I'd say by their size and their, and their coloration, they were pretty well established and um, they were all growing well until I sold them off 
and um, I kept a couple with me and they were really interesting to observe as well. Um, they would often feed together and live in the same burrows as each other. Often, you know, three or four will live in the same burrow. Uh, and that, that's consistent with some of the adults I found out in the wild as well. There was uh, one burrow that had two adults and um, it, it's possible they're just offspring or uh, siblings that have just grown up and kind of cohabitated in the same burrow over that many years. And this behavior isn't uncommon with my gals. Often it's observed in tarantulas as well. A lot of people will keep uh, communal setups with the semi-social Corymionemus, but I haven't really observed this in uh, any barricellids so far. So here you can see in this clip of uh, a number of slings um, sharing food, eating this cricket. I did actually collect a male while I was out there and I attempted a couple of pairings uh, with the females that I collected. And uh, I think only one was successful. Um, I, haven't, um, I haven't gotten a sack yet. Uh, but we'll just see how that goes. Uh, the breeding was a little bit difficult. Um, as I said before, they're very temperamental. And so any vibration or light, they would both threat pose. So yeah, they're very interesting um, species. Uh, they have a lot of interesting behaviors. Um, they're very temperamental, but I find them very fascinating and interesting. Uh, and this one here, you can see that uh, it's kind of shaking its abdomen uh, in a defensive way, um, which is, uh, I've never really seen that before, um, but it's a, an interesting little observation. Here you can see further variation within the Tritomy genus. Other genera such as Idiomata and Mangelia seem to have little variation in appearance between the species. Uh, in that way, Tritomy really stands out. For example, the difference between Tritomy CF Rainbowi and Tritomy Loki is quite striking. Uh, it's almost hard to believe they're in the same genus. I hope you all enjoyed this highlight video of Tritomy Xerophylla. Barrichellidae family deserves a lot more love and attention than they're currently getting. And I hope I educated a few people out there and um, got to show off some cool spiders. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Uh, and I look forward to showing you more of my collection in the future.